Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to... Ooh, he's chasing me. Uh, our Factorio Space Age playthrough. No! The tank! Okay, don't worry, we got it. Um, we're not actually in his territory. I think he just saw me and got mad that I was here. Anyway, um, all this to say, welcome back. Uh, I do have a couple announcements, but first let's kill, or try to kill, a medium demolisher and see what happens here. Um, uh, it does do a lot of damage. Okay. I might need better shields on the tank. Ah! Okay. I respect you, Mr. Demolisher. I respect you. Yeah, we needed to be shooting at its head. I thought we'd be fine otherwise. We were not. Alright, how far away do I need to run before you forget about me? Really? Really, he'll give up the chase eventually, right? Okay. Yeah, just run straight back to my base, right? <laughs> Oh, goodness. All right, so the medium might require a bit more work. Might require a bit more work, huh? So I think an absurd amount of piercing round gun turrets could do it. Uh, the, the it, This strategy might work. I didn't really get a good... I didn't really get a good try, and we didn't have enough shields either. So that will change things to have better shields on the tank. So let's maybe try that. Oh, you know, this is annoying though. We don't have uranium fuel cells to make fission reactors. So that means the Derpamu needs to head back. Now this, to go get some uranium fuel cells, and we'll go do that. So, I have some announcements uh, that I want to make. I, I often forget to do channel announcements, so here we are, not forgetting. Go team. Uh, first, I want to shout out a new a patron that is, of course, I minimized the page for some reason. Uh, Kurt L, thank you for joining and becoming a patron. It's very much appreciated. And I just want to invite everyone, if you're interested in supporting the channel, to head over to patreon.com slash Crydax. It is the best way to support the channel, though there are many other ways to. You being here and watching is one of them, and I appreciate you guys oh so much. And I really do mean that. Like, it's been awesome seeing the channel grow. And that leads me into the next announcement, which is 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is a huge milestone. Um, 10% of the way towards an actual play button uh, at 100k subscribers, but I'm really thankful for everyone that's been a part of the channel and it's been a, a fun journey. I love that we've made it to 10,000, which is super fun. And yeah, I have no, no intentions of stopping now, so hopefully the growth continues. Um, other announcements include just the regular two pieces of information that I feel everybody should know. Uh, there is a Crydania Discord where a bunch of people hang out. We talk Factorio, we talk Satisfactory, uh, whatever other fun games are rolling around these days. Um, so come over and join the Crydania Discord and, you know, if you're just looking for a fun community, it's a good place. And then finally, there is a podcast that I've been doing called The Factory Must Grow, and that usually airs on the first and third Sunday of the month. I do stream it live while I'm, you know, actually recording the podcast, but it also is just on whatever podcast provider you listen to. So you can do that, uh, you know, when you're driving to work or whatever, and it's great. So it's been, a, it's been a cool podcast so far. We've had tons of guests. So like we had Rygard on, who's a, you know, an actual dev at Wuba. We've had uh, Galdok on, who's a, another modder. We've had Bold Viking. We've had Dosh Doshington. We've had Troopin. We had Michael Hendricks. We've had a bunch of other people who I can't think of off the top of my head. So yeah, N and not every episode has a guest. Some of them I'm just kind of discussing some stuff with the game solo. And um, yeah, but the next episode 
which for those who are watching this from the future recording, this is going to be a little late for you. So at this point, the episode's already going to be out because we're scheduled out pretty far in advance with these streams. But um, why are these stopped? Oh, OK. Never mind. Um, but that being said, the next guest will be Code Green, who is another prolific modder in the Factorio community. And we'll be chatting about modding, modding for Factorio Space Age, kind of how he does mod development. What about like how does like what's the design philosophies behind the modding that he does? So there will be a lot of cool conversation to be had there. So, yeah, that's going to be next Sunday. Um, anyway, let me figure out how to kill this stupid worm now. Fight worms for tungsten. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so I'm thinking just a huge wall of turrets is going to be good enough. Let me remind myself of the armor of a worm. To kill a medium worm, we need to take out... Now, is, are these the resistances of the head or the whole, or the, the, the body shells? It's actually unclear. Um, but physical is just 50%, so it will take half the damage. So 7,800 a second. So let me think about, so a single gun turret with piercing rounds. 7,800 a second, that's a lot. So if we take 10 seconds to kill it, we basically have to deal 178,000 damage, is what that means. Um, okay, so if we have piercing ammo, these guys are dealing 46 damage at 25 shots per second. So 25 times 46, that's about 1,000 DPS per turret. So if we can do a 10 by 10 block of turrets, then that is 100,000 DPS, which is kind of absurd. And half of that will make it through the armor. So I do think a couple hundred turrets, each with enough ammo for like 10 seconds worth of shooting, should do it. Not totally sure, but hey, that's why it's fun. We can find out together. Um, can these make ammo? No, they can't. Okay. So we need a bit of ammo production going on here. I think I'm just going to do... What is this? Oh, that's connected to making engines. Let's see. So with our mall blueprint here, oh, the spaghetti is spaghetting worse. Um, we made a bunch of rail stuff, by the way, and kind of was a warm up for the stream. And I worked a rail over to there to get this tungsten, but we need to kill the worm, as you guys know. So. How much damage do landmines do? Yeah, I was thinking about landmines too. Um, let me set this up. What's the ratio again? One to three? Okay. We can set up that. And then, wait a second. Why are these not, oh no, these aren't right. Oh, this is the old version. This isn't the new version with the connected, logistics connected. I thought it was. Armor, piercing, what are they actually called? Piercing rounds magazine. All right, well, you guys have your doubts. That's what makes this fun. Um, get these going a little faster here. actually let them deliver the amount they would like to deliver. Keep these running full time. Uh, 
Oh, you doubt the combat shotgun. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, the combat shotgun, I mean, it certainly would deal some damage, but, you know, five shots a second is just not going to be enough. So, five shots times 32 times eight. I mean, it's a thousand DPS. It's not bad. But yeah, certainly not enough. Um, mines. Mines. We could also use a bunch of Defender capsules. These are dealing 7.5 times 19.2 damage a second. 7.5 times 19.2. That's another 144 per robot. And my robot limit is not shown here. Why is that not shown here? What's my robot limit? My robot limit is... 50. So 50 of those would deal some serious... That's another 7200 DPS if I have 50 defenders on me. Um, so that's, that's something. I mean, that takes care of the... Well, then you cut it in half. So it's actually not as much as it sounds. Part of me wants to do this research, but it's going to take a while to get done. Um, the distractor capsules do laser. Destroyers do electric. We did finish all the researches, by the way, the non-infinites. So I could also bring atomic bomb ingredients if we really wanted to go that route. Um, anyway, I need to, to work on producing gun turrets now. Oops. Uh, let's see, why don't I... quality in these, because some uncommon gun turrets would be nice. It'll make me more likely to actually take the stupid thing out. Okay. Now, land my... What's the damage difference between destroy defenders and destroyers? Those are seven and a half shots a second at 19 damage. These are only three shots a second, but 46 damage. And it's electric damage, which is resisted pretty heavily. It resists 20 flat and then 20% of further damage. So it would really only be dealing about 20 damage a shot. So these are actually not great. The reason they're better is they have a higher range and they live a lot longer. Um, but yeah. But I think this strategy might work for me. Now, how many actual bullets am I gonna need? I said 100. And each magazine, I need, I burn through two and a half magazines a second. So I am going to need like 2,500 magazines to equip 100 turrets with 25 magazines a piece, which is 10 seconds worth of shooting. That'll probably be more than enough, but I would like to err on the side of more than enough. This is going to be interesting. This is gonna be interesting. Will it work? Will it blend? Or will it all go up in smoke? If I did this research, it would certainly help a lot. But 4,000 packs is <laughs> maybe more than I want to spend right now. Um. Like, I'd rather do something, you know, useful.
Electric weapon damage four. Worker robot speed eight would be nice. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. All right, so. The problem is the range of the turrets, right? Like, can can a 10 by 10 block of turrets actually... Oops. Uh, shoot, I didn't mean to... Yeah. Can a 10 by 10 block of turrets cover each other's butts, you know? Or are we going to lose turrets before some turrets are even shooting? So that is 10. And it's basically a full... That's basically the range of one. Which makes sense, because they have a range of 18. And so it can shoot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 turrets away. It literally can hit the exact middle of that turret. So some of the turrets won't be shooting until it gets here. But if it's coming in, you know, this way, by the time it gets to the front, it'll be shot by about half of the turrets. What was my math again? 8 plus 38 at 25 shots a second. So that's 23 damage times 25 is the res the net result. So each turret is dealing 575 actual DPS. So 10 turrets dealing 5k. So let's say about 30 turrets are hitting it. That's only dealing about 15k. That is... I think this will work. It's a little... It's a little iffy. Um, yeah, yeah. The 50% phys... the was factored in, Aylor. To the math I just did. Why is this not running? I'm out of iron plates. That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right. Yeah. We'll just uh, make sure iron plates that aren't getting used for anything else we can throw in the network. All this stuff running. Ah, it's that it's just the regular ammo is eating a crap load of iron. Okay. So twelve hundred rounds. So what's the what's the actual number of rounds I need to destroy it? So I need a hundred thousand divided by thirty-eight damage. No, twenty-three after resistance. I need uh that doesn't sound right. Four thousand three hundred and forty seven rounds? What? Oh, oh, oh. Divided by ten. You get ten shots per um, so I only need 434 magazines to actually do the killing, and then from there, the rest of the magazines are used to prevent regen. So that's that. And I do have... I do have over 100 turrets now. Should be okay on number of turrets. And we said they shoot 25 a second, so if I had 25 magazines, that would last me 10 seconds of shooting. 25 magazines. Can you copy them pre filled in such a way that the bots will do the filling? Can I blueprint this in a way that. We'll put the ammo in them. Is there a way I can do that? Or do I have to do this sort of thing? Like, remotely. From map view. Doesn't seem to... Want to include it. Like, 
Like, I can click it in from map view, but that's not the same as copying it. Uh... I think you have to be out of Roboport range to make the blueprint. How does that make any sense? What? Out of Roboport range? Like, out here? You have to copy it before the bots deliver ammo? Oh, wonderful. This game makes absolutely no sense sometimes. <sighs> okay, so you're saying if I plop this down out here... Oh, well, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Okay, we'll get there. Turn off my personal bots. Put it in map view. Tell it that we want piercing rounds. But not that many. You're saying I can copy this. Maybe. Shift copy. Hmm... Do I have to copy... Does it have to be a ghost request? A ghost with a request? Does this work? Aha! There it is. Wow. What a pain in the butt. Um, and then because there's no inventory, we have to actually put it in a book. So, there you go. All right. So to whoever said good luck putting all that in the turrets properly, that's how you do it. I knew there was a way to do it. That's super janky though. It should be easier than that in my opinion. Because that is a jank fest. Uh, Rayclaw, how's it going? We will get your name in game here in a minute. And let's see. I mean, do I have enough ammo? No. No, we need 2,500. What's preventing it from running? Now we're on a copper plate shortage? Right, that should be avoidable. Um, pretty easily, actually. Let's speed this bad boy up a bit. Was this one where adding the prod modules made it faster? 11.6 goes to, yeah, 12.0. But I think at this point, let's just go ham on the speed. Yeah, 20 a second, there we go. Yeah, it's really weird timing that like, you have to copy a ghost version rather than just a regular. It certainly doesn't make a whole lot of sense that it wouldn't work for the regular two. Um, and why is this? We're out of stone brick. Why are we out of stone brick? Uh oh. Uh oh. Why are we out of stone? Oh, I forgot all about like needing stone over there. Wow, I'm glad I spotted that. That would have been a problem at some point later in the game. Um. <laughs> All right, so output priority right, output priority right. Uh, and we need to bring stone over here. Okay, there we go. That could have been problematic. Now, I guess that's technically only the copper, so if we stop making copper and we only need iron and stone for a long time, this will break, but... Okay, we're already providing stone to the network, actually, so I don't need this part. I just need the actual smelting part. Which... We could productify, but what's the point? What's the point? Alright, ammo... What's our, what's our rate here? Sorry, magazines. Getting about 200 a minute. All right, we almost have 2,000. 
We should have enough here. I mean, based on the numbers, I would be surprised if this didn't actually kill this stupid thing. Because we're talking, like, an absurd amount of DPS. Because, yeah, if the worm comes from the middle... I don't know exactly what percentage of turrets will be able to hit the worm, but it's going to be a lot. It'll basically be all the turrets that are within a turret's range of this one. Which... Technically, I should probably set up a half circle of turrets and have the worm try to attack the middle of the half circle. If we were being maximum efficiency. So it'd be a half circle with a radius of, of nine, because that's the max range rather than a square. We might we might cut off the corners of the square or something at least to make it a little nicer. Or what I can do is I do have enough uncommons here. We can just put the back two rows to be the uncommon turrets and there we're going to get even more even more turrets attacking at the same time then. That's kind of a good idea, I think. All right, 2258, so just a couple hundred more here, and we are gonna go kill ourselves a worm. I think worm's gonna die, and it'll only take out 10 to 20 turrets, and we're gonna use about half of the ammo. That's my prediction. So, uh, the predictions don't work super great on YouTube, um, but I am going to do a prediction here on Twitch. So uh, everybody, you can gamble with your channel points. It's pretty great. Uh, is the worm going to die to this method on the first try? Okay. Will this work? First try. <laughs> it only lets you type a few characters. Yes or no. All right. You guys have two minutes to, to predict with your channel points here. And I can, we can see if we can scam you with the results. <laughs> Will it work? Will it blend? I think it'll work. Ooh, we got someone putting a lot of points on yes. 10,000 channel points. We got some no voters. We got some yes voters. It's be interesting. The no's are certainly going to win a lot of points if they get it right. Alright, we've got enough ammo. Let's go start setting it up. Okay. So. Biggest Wormus is up here. I guess he's more like Medius Wormus. Smallest Wormus is very easy to kill with those uranium shells. I think the uranium shell strategy might work still if we had set up the tank with proper shielding and we removed all these cliffs first so I could actually drive around properly. Like if I set up a proper tank, I think we could manage it. But the way things were, I, I don't know if that was the case. All right, we need to clear a battle zone here. Let's get rid of a bunch of cliffs. And we'll lure it back here. Alright, so the final channel points we've got... Oh, oh, there's still some votes coming in. Six people vote no, three vote yes, but 18,000 channel points on yes. And only 12,000 channel points on no. It ended up being a fairly even split. I'm surprised. Alright, well, let's get rid of all the crap on the ground. This is so annoying. Oh my gosh. Okay, are we done? Silly bots. Yes, they seem to be happy. Oh, nope, that one was not done. 
Okay. So, turrets. Oh, right. I need to use the special blueprint. It seems like you can paste over turrets that are already constructed, and it works. So that's nice. Four, five, six. Oop. Seven. Eight. And then nine and ten. We need to make the blueprint for. So ghost click that. Is there a way to ghost place? No. Have to do it from map view. Yeah, we could always resupply ammo with this as well. If we needed to. Okay. Those placed. All right, this, this is the, this is the thing that we think will work. So we'll try to lure the worm to right here and run in the middle. If I'm being a little big brain, we would move the corners to the edges here. That would be a little better. Um, but I want to do it just with a nice little, nice little cube here. So let's go. Let's go find the worm. Here he is. All right, come get me. Come here, dude. Oh, he's faster than I thought he was. I don't like how fast he is. Oh gosh. It really does slow you down a lot. Oh, you can't fly. Oh, that's different. Um. I kind of forgot about that. Oh, jeez. I need to pay more attention to dodging. That almost killed me. Alright. Here we go. Lure him over. Oh, you forget about me? Come here, dude. Come on. And then I'll change the angle. No! <laughs> it's killing stuff before they're even there. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, it worked! It worked! Oh, <sighs> that was close though. I, uh, if you wanted it to work every time, you definitely want probably a few more turrets than that. Maybe like a 12 by 12 block would be a bit better, but it did work. They did an absurd amount of damage once it was in the middle there, and that, and that did get us there. Okay. Choose outcome. Yes, it did work. First try. We got some, some big, some big winners on the channel points. And now I can deconstruct all of these. Let's see how much ammo it used up out of all of it. I guess there's some ammo that got lost by being destroyed, but we'll see what the finals are. Do I have a lack of repair packs, it seems? Alright, final ammo we're looking at... We used about half of it. We have a thousand left. Okay. Let me repair all these. Maybe mines? Yeah, mines could work. Uh, we didn't... Dave asked earlier what damage mines do, and I don't actually know. I forgot to look it up, because I didn't have any. They do 500 right now, but I haven't upgraded explosives very much. But I think worms have a lot of explosive resistance, eh? 
Okay, so putting putting a big chunk of mines in the front isn't gonna hurt. Um, that honestly seemed a little too easy. Yeah, was that easy? There was a little bit of that that was easy, and there was a little bit of it that was like also quite a lot of prep. But yeah, I mean, we did or we do have we already have physical projectile damage eight researched, and that's a big part of this. Um, if we only had up to six researched, for example, I don't think it, we would have been able to do it. So that that is a big part of it. But yeah, maybe it's a little too easy. That still is only the medium worm for what it's worth. All right, so now we want to continue this railway to here. And then let me continue our robo-ports. Make life a little easier. Don't forget, streamers get 50% damage boost. Hey, Scorpatron, thanks for the sub, by the way. I don't know, why didn't it make the little, little sub noise? I don't know what was up with that. Mm. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so that... Are those getting built? What's going on here? Yeah, they are. Okay. Oh, how many turrets were destroyed? The... Well... It's hard to tell because I had more than 100 when I started. But it was about a third of them, if I had to guesstimate. A fourth or a third of them. Because it kind of got to the, you know, if if the square was like this, it got to like the middle, and it it carved out, you know, kind of like that or so. So I don't know. It it didn't destroy a full half, but it destroyed quite a few. Um, production statistics. Ooh. How do I find out? There we go. Okay. It was almost half. We lost 45. 46. There you go. There you have it. Alright, we're gonna use uncommon big mining drill. Wow, this patch is smaller than I thought it would be. I knew it was small, but this is even more disappointing than I had hoped for. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the best use of it possible by utilizing beacons. Across. I think I can do something like this. And then we'll put beacons here. And then more of the uncommon drills all the way across. Okay, this actually might get us a good amount per second. I don't know. It's hard to tell without the beacons being powered up yet exactly how much. We can get all the speed modules in. Oh, not to mention, I can put speed modules in the drills themselves, which support four modules. Should I put prod modules, though? Or no? Probably not, right? We've already got prod of 1.5, so prod modules don't actually do that much. Um, wait, so they're on this side, so I need that. 
that. Oh, and I'm out of belts. Out of the turbos. Alright, we really need to go back and get logistics done here. You finally made it to Vulcanus last night, totally over-prepared before leaving. Yeah, I think over Oh, there's a worm right there. Let's not forget about that. Ah, shucks. I forgot this slightly went into the second worm's territory, too. Oh, no. Please don't kill all my stuff yet. I'm not ready to die. I'm too young to die. Alright, are we out? Are we out of his territory, officially? I think so. Alright, we're gonna have to take him out too, though. Anyway, being over-prepared, I think, is a good problem. Given, given all this stuff, like... Starting on a planet, if you already have, like, all of the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? If you already have, like, power poles and assemblers and a ton of belts and all the bot network stuff, that's way easier than if you start on a planet with none of that, right? So I do think it's worth your time to fill up your initial spaceship with a bunch of extra stuff. Because that's just going to save you a lot of pain and suffering. Maybe pain and suffering is the wrong word, but it'll just save you a lot of setup time. And so you can get going with stuff sooner. And at least I, I've kind of been somewhere in the middle. I wouldn't say I've over prepared, but I've definitely prepared things. Is he just going to like kill this stuff on accident by like driving by it? You're going to have an accidental drive by Mr. Medium Demolisher. Also, if this is a medium, I don't want to know how big a large is. These things are already huge. Oh, goodness. Uh, I do need a radar over here. For the purposes of scanning. Maybe one there. Okay, it does seem like he's ignoring this stuff, thankfully. Please. You went... To Vulcanus on blue science only, leaving Navis behind. Interesting. So are you just gonna let the Navis base die? Then? And reap the consequences later? Alright. Grab our ammo. Grab more uncommons here. All right, that should be plenty of turrets. And what else was I missing? Oh, belts. I don't know why I only pumped that up to 200. That should be like 400. Now, one of you needed something. I don't remember which one. Also, Novice, are we requesting... I know I'm getting so distracted here. There's so many little things to do, I feel like. Are we requesting this? No, no, no. We need to basically copy this, but filter it on the other one and say those are less than 10,000 in the network and then we need to add the requests for Vulcanus science and buildings right that's going to take a minute and then these are all done which is Probably making an issue at some point. Now we can just ditch him. Get some more cargo bays here. Uh, 
Uh, what's the keep your hands clean achievement? I don't know what that one is. Okay, are these all built? Seems so. Alright, so now we just have to take out that other worm. Mediumus Wormus number two. Rayclaw, let's get your name in in writing here. Go in the Hall of Fame next to the Whatchamacallits here. I guess I'm using the wrong material. Ray one. That's not a one. Is that a one? That's a one. Claw. Now, if you also want your name in game, the problem is you're... And I say you. I'm talking to you, the future YouTubian. Uh, I hope I've gone to two-a-day releases. Otherwise, this release is weeks behind. Um, yeah, the not destroying bases until you have artillery achievement. That one does seem a little tricky to get. That one does seem a bit tricky. Okay, uh, I was going to get more exoskeletons here. Do I have some? Not in Logistics Network. Oh, there we go. Eight. That should be enough. That should be enough. Where are they? Am I blind? Did it cancel the record? Interesting. I thought it would finish bringing it to me, but it must have canceled the request because I canceled it before it got here. I thought bots finished their delivery, even if you canceled it, but that is not true. Okay. Well, I think we're going to go pretty fast now. Oh my, <laughs> there we go. It actually might use up our batteries. I don't think I have enough power generation for that. But the batteries are enough to last a while, I think, so... As long as I stop moving once in a while. There's the zoomies we know and love. Wow, that's fast. Um, okay, so now we gotta take out worm number two. This actually seems like a reasonably good spot for it, so why don't we just remove all the, all the hard work we put in? And then we shall... Put the turrets here. Where is the worm currently? Not sure is the answer. Here, wormy, wormy, wormy. Hmm. Where are you, dude? He's not here. Must be all the way on the north side. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so he's up there. We've got a minute to build down, down here. Okay, this actually seems like a, a decent spot. Maybe, maybe right here. Yeah. All right. So I needed. Control V. These guys. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll do eleven. It's weird. I'm holding the mouse down and it like doesn't place on the last slot sometimes. Like right there, it hasn't placed it yet. I have to move the mouse further. Something really wonky going on with that. Like, it doesn't place it as soon as it's in a valid spot. You have to drag it, like, past the halfway mark. I don't know why it does that. 
Um, okay, there's nine. And then we'll do the uncommons here in the back. Some of them are damaged, I guess. And we'll do some, some extras on the sides here. On the wings. Am I out of ammo? Uh-oh. Ran out of ammo. Um... Thought we had enough. I think I have enough time to run back real quick. Your guess is they did that to avoid adding extra ones when you slightly overshoot. Yeah, but the problem is then you have the problem adding the ones you want to add. So I don't actually know if I like that. All right, back we go. Hopefully we're not too late. We got the serious zoomies going on. What is our walking speed? Plus 363%, nice. All right, Mr. Worm. You're not gonna make it. You're just not. Now, walls don't do anything, so there's no point to walls. But a few hundred mines wouldn't have hurt. But I think at this point we're too far in to make mines. What do mines even require? Steel and explosives? Yeah, it would have been easy to make a few hundred landmines. Just for a fact. Alright, he's over here now. Here, boy. Stay away from his path of, of slowing. Come on. Oh, got it. Wow, I thought all of those exoskeletons would help a little bit more than they are right now, but it really does bring you down to, to almost zero. All right, I think he's gonna go down real fast this time. We're hitting him broadside. Oh my gosh. Wow. Nice. Nice. Although he did a lot of damage, I think some of his little volcano explosives some extra damage there. All right, well, that certainly is a method. Is it the best method? Not sure. Relatively easy. The Twitch player crashed. No, Twitch. Why are you like this? Uh, why is Twitch like this? How many casualties this time? Looks like 59. So actually more casualties this time. I, yeah, he got some of his explosions in the middle of the, the turret pack pretty effectively. But now we've got free tungsten. Okay. So we'll do... there. Space of three. Oh, look, even some uncommon beacons. Why not? Um, okay, we need a regular beacon there. That. More beacons. More uncommons. Now, power could be an issue here. Power will reach across to the beacons there. And then... 
Yeah, we're gonna need medium power poles. Always cracks me up. I really need to automate mediums um, at some point. And I'll just super force build between these. station. So, come on. Yeah, we want to go this way. Down to the ground. There we go. And then... space for what we need. Connect that up. Rail stop. Boom. Name you tungsten load. Now, why are these not getting built? Oh, because it has them as uncommons. That's why. Diagonal station. No, I'm not quite that crazy. Maybe I should be. What are the actual rates we're getting on these? Uh, pretty high, actually. Four, and that's without beacons in, or uh, modules in the uh, miners. Is this going to be more than half a belt? Of course, I don't know, because we don't have enough modules. Um, I may need... We may need belt stacking before we know it. What is this? 60 items a second, so we can do 30 on one side. These are all doing less than five. Okay, so that will fit on one side of the belt still. But this will come closer to filling an entire turbo belt than I had thought it would, which is nice. We'll do this guy. that. Bada bing, bada boom. Not that we need lights, because... Oh. Uh, night is so short on Vulcanus. It's also, it doesn't feel quite as dark as it does on Novus, but that could be incorrect. Maybe it's just because lava is everywhere and it's so glowy, but... Yeah, so resource drain, 41%, and productivity, 50%, means we can do 1.5 divided by 0.41, and we're getting 3.66, the amount of ore, so we'll actually be able to utilize, like, 5 million tungsten from this patch, and that's without any further researches on um, ore productivity, mining. Mining drill productivity. So now we just need the train, which we have to go find. And we tell you to go to load, full cargo, unload, empty cargo. Well, that's all we got to do for this little guy. Ooh, it's almost like a worm. Reminding me of the worm. mechanical worm that of industry shall not stop. Cool. 
All right, so now this was kind of the final step in being able to leave Vulcanus alone, was securing a large amount of tungsten. I think now we're pretty good. This calcite is not going to last forever, but now that we have the big drills on it, it is going to last a while. That's still basically a million calcite we're going to get out of that. And my actual calcite consumption over the last hour has been, and this is while we've been producing a bunch of the, the ammo and turrets and stuff, hasn't even been more than two a second. So a million should last a while. Um, it does seem like the bots are not super happy with their current state of affairs. What are they even doing right now? Oh, they're bringing me stuff. Poor things. I can help out with that. <laughs> oh, I almost feel bad for him. Poor little bots. All right, I'll just come back by the silos here. <laughs> yeah, they weren't happy about that. Um, I'm not sure how the new system works because now they have stuff that they're not bringing to me because they're not red anymore. So other bots brought me the stuff and now these bots are just going to go back to storage, I guess. So does that mean the new system ends up with more items being put in storage than the old system? For bot assignment? I think that might be what that means. But yeah, so now we've got this whole new area, and it's all ours. Let me throw another radar or two up here just to get some more exploration. I'm hoping there's already some more tungsten right here. That'll also be annoying to get, but 600,000 is not nothing. But I was hoping to find another tungsten patch kind of nearby so we don't have to clear out too many more worms. Oh, it's because I left the request area. Good point. That's what happened. That is what happened. So, are we happy with our situation here on Vulcanus? Are we ready to think about going to Gleba? Gleba, Gleba, Gleba. I think we are? I mean, research-wise, we've already done all the researches other than infinite ones which is artillery stuff, oops, which is range, shooting speed, and damage. And then low density structure productivity is the only other thing. So. Is there a rocket fuel productivity? Once we go to Gleba? There sure is. So all the things you need to make rockets, you can make make them more cheaply. Um, yeah, why don't we queue up the second of each of those? And then... Maybe a laser damage eight? Or Gleba defenses. I don't remember how laser, <laughs> laser resistant Gleba, Glebans. I don't remember how laser resistant they are. But yeah, we we'll, we will uh, be going to Gleba soon, and then we'll do a big rebuild of Navis at some point, and we'll probably connect these big patches with big mining drills to a big train network and we'll actually start doing things properly. Because um, the goal is to make a quality rolling system once we have epic, so I can actually get a bunch of epic stuff. And so probably after Gleba, we'll come back here, we'll revamp everything to use the new stuff, we'll put, we'll put stuff on trains, it'll be beautiful. Um, and then we'll go to Aquilo. 
But that's all very, very far in the future, because first we have Glaiba to worry about. Um, I will use the Derpamu, which is currently here. Um... Yeah. The Derpa is here. Let's grab... Okay, so here's a perfect example of what I'm talking about being frustrating with the any planet thing. Because what I want is I actually want it, apart from the pink science, it's like I want to request all these things from Nauvis. Not Fulgora, because this one, basically other things are going to take, you know, the Fulgora stuff to Nauvis, but then now I want these items on this ship to take to Gleba, but I can't do that without making a whole new request. And that's what's weird about this. And I guess I could just make the ship fly by each of the different planets to pick up stuff from Vulcanus separately and then pick up stuff from Fulgora. But like that's that's annoying and I don't want to have to do that. So it's kind of annoying that you have to make a separate request for that. Um, why are all of these? Oh, it's just going to take a while. OK, so we'll request all the things we've normally been requesting, probably plus some more. I don't think I need rails. Let's take that off. I do think a tank. Do I need a tank? Hmm. Ditch the tank for now. We'll probably do personal laser defenses and a bunch of laser turrets for initial combat defenses. I can't remember if lasers are good enough, so maybe I should do lasers and gun turrets just in case. And some ammo. Edison, because you're you've because Nauvis is a central hub, right? So you've got your ship going to and from Fulgora to bring back the electromagnetic plants. So so now Nauvis has a ton of electromagnetic plants, and then from there, you would want to load the electromagnetic plants on a ship going to and from Gleba, right? So I it there's a very common I mean I'm not saying everybody wants to do it that way but I might and other people might and it just feels weird that there's no import from any planet option because if your ship was going to Gleba you would want to import this stuff from any planet not just Fulgora by default anyway so for the Gleba first trip uh, we're going to want to load most of this stuff. I'm going to need more. <laughs> I'm going to need a lot more rockets here. Okay, well, we probably should wrap up this episode of YouTube, I think. To be perfectly honest. Um, because we're already... How far? We're already an hour and eight minutes in? Yeah. So, I'd say we've accomplished what we set out to accomplish in this episode, which was capturing more tungsten got that on lockdown we killed two worms with a big block of turrets and from here on out we now can say goodbye to Vulcanus for now so yeah for those of you watching from future YouTube uh, thank you as always for being here leave a comment down below and let me know what you think if you're here live stick around we're not done streaming but yeah with that I'll sp uh, I can't talk I will bid you adieu <laughs> have a great day everybody